Celtic, the visitors, of course, to the Meadowbank Stadium in Edinburgh. Four wins out of four in the league. But this is their toughest test of the season so far, as Fran Alonso names his side. And they're going to get all three points today. And that's brilliant from Shen Mingo. Puts a ball into the box. Falls to the feet of Gallagher. Oh, what a hit. Seven minutes gone. Amy Gallagher puts Celtic into the lead. Of course, Hibernian, her former side, she moved from the High Bees two years ago. And that's a fantastic finish from Amy G as her teammates and the fans call her. What a finish. Great ball into the box. Great layoff from Laversky. And Gallagher finishes it off to give Celtic the lead. It's Kip Laversky, the American. She does well. Turns the shoulder. Driving into the box. She keeps going. Flicked on. Here's Kavanaugh. And it's 2 0. 19 minutes gone. Celtic extend the lead here in Edinburgh. Kip Laversky gets the congratulations. That was a great finish from Kavanaugh. But wonderful build up from the American. Kip Laversky drives into the box, it's flicked on and Kavanagh finishes it off. Celtic have been free-flowing football, nine goals last weekend, they're on their way again. And it's 2-0 in the capital. Brilliant play from Laversky as we see it again. And Kavanagh just taps it in at the back post and gets the celebrations underway. Oh, that's brilliantly picked out once again from Laversky. Shot comes in, falls to Gallagher, oh what a finish, it's 3-0, 31 minutes gone, Fran Alonso cannot complain at his side in their goal scoring forum, half an hour on the clock and it's 3-0, is it game over already? Ball came into the box and Gallagher, what a finish with the left foot, Menlo with the shot and Gallagher with the instinctive finish put Celtic three to the good. And Celtic have to do a bit of defending, ball comes into the box and it's Adams gets Hibernian back on the track, it's 3-1 to Celtic. 45 minutes just before half time, gives Hibs a, a bit of a lifeline. The ball came into the box, he just fell to Adams, Coley Craig misjudged it and Hibs get themselves back into it. Oh, and there's a shout there for a penalty kick. Is the referee? Yep, referee gives the penalty. And it's all turning sour now for Celtic. They were so comfortable just going into half time. Could have been 3-0 up. And there's a chance now for Hibs to get it 3-2 just before half time. Here's Bukom, and she slots it away. And that's something for Celtic to think about at the half-time break. It's 3-2. Disappointment in, on the faces of those Celtic players. They were cruising, and now it's not so comfortable. Into the second half now, as Hibs come on to the attack. It's a big chance now. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper, Doherty. Keep Celtic in this one. Hibs almost fighting back from the death. What a save from the goalkeeper, Doherty. A brilliant, instinctive save. Celtic still 3-2 ahead. Hibs check back into their area. Oh, they've, they've dilly-dallied. Here's Gallagher now. The ball comes back to Butchell. Tyree Butchell. Here's Gallagher, and she does it. It's 4-2, that just might give Celtic the cushion that they need. Fran Alonso delighted on the touchline. After losing those two goals, that's exactly what they needed. And it's a hat-trick for Amy Gallagher. Brilliant from Butchell, she could have took the shot on herself. But Amy Gallagher, deadly finisher, she's been in and around the goals this season. And she's got a hat-trick today, match ball for Amy Gallagher. That's full time, Celtic extend the lead at the top of the SWPL. Five wins out of five, it ends 4-2 to Celtic.